These small creatures are not only a pest, but carriers of many diseases. According to Dr. Pete Thiel, Texas Agricultural Experiment Station entomologist, ticks can cause illnesses like Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Lyme disease, and now a new disease. Human ehrlichiosis, of which there are two types in the United States, one we call human monocytic uh, ehrlichiosis, and the other is uh, human granulocytic ehrlichiosis. Thiel said Texans are more likely to be exposed to the HME type disease. The organism cycles normally between lone star ticks, which we call the vector, and its vertebrate host, which is the white-tailed deer. So the cycle is normally tick to deer and, and then back again. But when humans or dogs, cats for that matter, um, get exposed to, to these ticks, humans in this particular case can become infected with the organism that causes the human disease. Teal recommended to minimize skin exposure by wearing pants, light collar clothes, and tick repellents. He also suggested what he called tape up. Take some masking tape, stretch it out lengthwise, and then fold it lengthwise so that you have two sticky sides. Wrap that around your pant leg at the top of your boot, and that, po that shrinks that area for, of exposure so they can't crawl up your shoe and then onto your leg. And for pets, Teal said to use the many effective tick treatments now available. He indicated it is recommended to do a tick check when pets are exposed to the outdoors. And if ticks are found on the skin, there is a proper tick removal procedure that everybody should follow to avoid skin inflammation and some infections. We use the fingernails and get right down to the, to the head and grab hold of the tick. Slowly pull it straight away. Don't twist it and don't jerk. Avoid putting alcohol or other solvents to make the tick detach itself. Till said adding solvents would only increase the tick salivation process and the risk of contracting a disease. From College Station, Texas, I'm Norma Moreno.